Hello, and welcome to another episode. I think you guys will like this episode. It's a little bit different. This is not going to be a Guardian um, spotlight. It's going to be Guardian duos. It's a uh, new kind of segment I got. And what it's going to be is there's only going to be a couple of these videos, but it's going to be me and another character and how that those two Guardians work well with each other. Um, I've seen these kind of posts and threads before, so it's something to kind of want to bring out to video and show you guys through YouTube. And I'm going to go into the abilities of both Runesig and Gothmog, but I'll still have separate videos for both those two Guardians. Uh, this is really just more of when, I, when I'm talking about these ability, abilities, it's going to be more about you know why these two guardians you know work well with each other with those abilities. Uh, what kind of commands and loadouts for both guardians are useful? Because I think that certain loadouts uh, when you're teaming, you know when you're planning this beforehand, can be very beneficial to you if you know that you're going to be laning up with each other. Uh, some other kind of uh, combinations I like are Ugluck and, and Mozgog and then. Monthasaur and Gladriel. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot more of these videos. So that's what Guardian Duos is, and so now I'll get into the video. Uh, Gothmog and Runesig, they're both tacticians, and they both have their catapults. And you're gonna see that these two Guardians, when they work together, are very deadly. Uh, we're, you can see that we're matched up against a Gladriel and a Mozgog. And they're going to have a really tough time with all of our catapults, our, uh, our ability to buff our troops and do more extra damage to towers. Uh, we're really going to put them in a tough position. And I'm going to say now that this combination doesn't work against every Guardian that you'll be faced up against. Uh, but in this in situation, this will work pretty well. And so, first I'll talk about the loadouts because we are both running the uh, same loadout. So the first relic I go with is River Running and that's for the movement speed and when you give a tactician movement speed not every one but specifically Runesig and Gothmog they can be really uh, very pesky guardians because they can jump from tower to tower do a bunch of damage and run away and it's very hard to catch them and that's really what we're trying to do in this video. So I got Rivers Running and then we both have Golden Wood, which for every topaz in your belt, the duration of controlling effects are reduced by 3%. And the next relic I have is Dragon Scale, which reduces the controlling effects uh, by 20%. So this is going to give me a ton of controlling effect reduction. And then I'm going to stack that with six controlling effect reduction gems. And this will give me about 71. Uh, percent reduction and then when I go into my later video that's going to be talking about the um, the neutral creatures there is one the troll that you can kill and he'll give you 30 percent reduction and with that you'll have 101 percent control and effect reduction and the control and effect reduction is really just to be even more annoying uh, you could almost call this a little bit of a troll belt but really, um, it's not really enhancing my abilities. It just lets me, you know, slip from tower to tower and really do what I'm meant to, and that's to just do a bunch of damage to towers. And you can see already how much damage uh, me and Rune Sig, and then we have more guardians that benefit off of my passive. Uh, we're really going to do a lot of damage. And Gothmog's passive is directing his cohorts against enemy fortifications. Gothmog gives all allied units within medium range to bonus based upon his current health to ability or basic attack damage against structures. Now the ability that Runesig has that I think goes very well with Gothmog's passive is Forceful Call which gives you a boost of 35% movement speed for 6 seconds and up to 70 health uh, per second for 3 seconds, healing uh, the allies and increasing the movement speed. And then also his ultimate, March of the Northmen, which will boost the attack speed up to 25% of all allies including creeps. So. Uh, really enhances Gothmog's passive and pretty much everybody that's hitting that tower is going to be doing way more damage. One of the other th nice things about Gothmog is his ability called War Machine and that gives him his catapult which does splash damage unlike Runesig's but uh, 
a little bit differently. RuneSig can lay out more of catapults than Gothmaw can. And so that does really great damage for clearing the creeps. Um, I would say RuneSig's catapults are a lot much more useful against guardians when the uh, creeps are cleared. So right there you have kind of a um, good combination there. One that can target multiple enemies and one that can target uh, enemies individual. And Gothmog's Black Banner is very useful for uh, tower diving and in this case right now I'm using it. And that's to dive the towers so the towers can't lock onto uh, my teammates. And so you can get up to five seconds where the tower has to focus on your banner. And it's a great ability and I level that up second. So you can see that was a pretty fast match. Uh, it's always not going to be like that. But you can see how well that these two guardians boost the damage against enemy towers and uh, really ended that match quick. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, tell me what you think about these two guardians, what you think about them both being matched in the same lane. And uh, I want to thank you guys. More videos to come soon guys. Thanks.